benefits of using hierarchical network design. When you build a LAN, local area network, that satisfies the needs of small companies, your plan is more likely to, to be successful if you use hierarchical design. Uh, you divide your network into discrete layers. Each layer has specific purpose and it becomes thus modular. Uh, it's good for maintenance and performance. Access layer the first uh, the layer facing the users interfaces with end devices uh, provides a means of connecting and controlling which devices are allowed to communicate on the network distribution layer the layer uh, uh, deeper is uh, aggregating funneling access layer traffic uh, controls traffic flow with security or routing policies, defines broadcast domains, uh, it as well performs routing of VLANs, virtual LANs. Core layer must be capable of quickly forwarding large amounts of data because it's basically funnel, it's the main point of where everything goes through. Um, <clears throat> smaller network may collapse core layer into distribution layer and thus save on expenses. Uh, core layer is a high speed backbone of the network. Must be highly available and redundant. Redundant means that there are copies of uh, each uh, device uh, uh, ready to start working when uh, when the original uh, is malfunctioning. Highly available uh, is capable of um, working the same way uh, um, under under high pressure, under high load, uh, as well as normal uh, pressure. The core area uh, usually is uh, used to connect to internet resources. Um, hierarchical network is just a logical layout. Physical layout may, may be different. Main benefits of hierarchical network are scalability, redundancy, performance, security, manageability, maintainability. Scalability is uh, the <coughs> feature of the network that you can expand it. You can add another uh, devices without disrupting the uh, network. Redundancy is another benefit of hierarchical network. Uh, it ensures availability to, due to maintaining, uh, maintaining connection uh, having redundant uh, redundant links uh, if one goes uh, malfunctioning the other one uh, will start working uh, another benefit of hierarchical network is performance link aggregation and high performance distribution and core layer switches provide near wire speed at all layers um, basically the routers which are used for core layer they are faster they are optimized for <coughs> funneling uh, passing uh, trunk uh, data from many hosts to many hosts uh, another benefit of hierarchical network is <coughs> Uh, that distribution layer uh, then can take role of a uh, policeman uh, securing ports uh, um, uh, securing ports at the access layer and making policies at the distribution layer uh, may uh, provide more security to the network another benefit of hierarchical network is manageability Manageability comes because of the uh, each 
each layer uh, has specific function and uh, if we want to change something in the network we just address the one layer uh, basically um, there is a easier uh, troubleshooting uh, rapid recovery we can add additional switches uh, we can change functionality uh, another benefit of hierarchical network design is maintainable maintainability. Uh, <clears throat> when we have modular design, we can easily replace or scale the devices uh, without without uh, overcomplicating the network. Redundancy is practice of providing multiple paths to a destination or multiple instances of the device. Aggregation. Aggregation is uh, when, when uh, multiple uh, links uh, are com multiple links are combined into one usually on the higher layer of the um, hierarchical design. Uh, <clears throat> in a traffic intensive environment network, bandwidth aggregation is used to provide the aggregation of multiple physical links, creating a single virtual link that carries the bandwidth sum of each physical link. This is like called trunking, from what I know. Uh, <clears throat> principles of hierarchical network design redundancy is one part of creating a highly available network uh, multiple links between switches or multiple devices uh, basically we are uh, copying uh, the setup of uh, the device and uh, the other one the device uh, is waiting the <clears throat> drawback of it is that it can get an expensive and uh, most likely will not be done on the access layer because there's a lot of devices there. It's usually at distribution or core layers. You, you do the redundancy. <clears throat> Converge network is when you use uh, voice over IP. Matching switches to specific LAN functions. Uh, what's the difference between router and layer 3 switches? Layer 3 switches have no uh, wide area network uh, cards, interfaces. WIC. Um, uh, <clears throat> topology diagram switch form factors. Uh, modular switches. Uh, no, 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 no. Power over Ethernet adds the costs. Security. Yeah, that's it. Once. Ah, 